Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I thought it would be fun to go over my Aritzia Spring 2023 wish list with you guys. As you know, I am an avid Aritzia shopper. I have quite the Aritzia closet. So realistically, I don't need to add anything else to my closet, but a girl likes to look once in a while. I do have a goal this year to be more mindful of what I buy because obviously I have like more than enough clothing anyone would possibly need. Um, but I also have a goal to not buy things that are really hard to take care of, such as linen, because I hate the moment you like sit down and it wrinkles, it bothers me. So things that are like linen, things that are like silk, things that are like wool, I'm going to be a little bit more mindful in buying those things. Although I love wool, I love silk, and I love linen. Those are amazing natural fibers. They're just so fickle to take care of like I literally have not worn a single wool sweater this year because honestly I've just been in sweat fleece the entire winter or like things like this because they're just a lot easier to wash and maintain versus me making sure I hand wash the wool making sure that I lay flat to dry Actually, I lie. I do wear a lot of my cardigans and those are all wool, but I, I don't know. In my mind, it's like easier to wear those items than like a Montpellier sweater, even though I still love those. Not rant on too long. Let's start with this. TNA, Wilfred, and Babaton have launched their spring 2023 collections. I'm not sure if any more of the sub brands are going to launch anything such as like Sunday Best, Wilfred Free, group by Babaton. I really miss the days that like LeFou would launch some stuff because the LeFou items were so special. First thing that caught my eye is actually the Babaton poplin dress in the slab blue color. Now I already have a cotton poplin dress that is very similar. It is a shorter sleeve one and I don't recall what the name of the dress is. I already have a black dress that is very similar to this and I'll pop a picture up here but I really like this blue color slab blue and I also really enjoy that it is a three-quarter length sleeve. I don't know if the silhouette would really be flattering on me so I definitely would have to try it on but I really like cotton poplin because I find that this material although it does wrinkle like slightly it's quite forgiving in the wrinkle department it's like not that wrinkly and the material is so nice and thin and breathable so I really enjoy that I'm definitely interested in trying it on but again, I'm not sure 100% if the cut is going to look good on me. And I can kind of see that there's pockets, so I'm really interested in it. The second item I'm interested in is the TNA New Supply Cargo Pant. And if you've watched my uh, try-on video, I'll link it here. I did try on the New Supply Cargo Pant in a size 8 in the coffee bean color. And I want, I'm like on the hunt okay for a pair of like brown cargo pants but I was talking to Alex because I told her I don't like how like the size 8 fits on me I think like where it hits at the waist is like kind of an awkward waistline for me so she told me to try sizing up I'm gonna try sizing up I already know how these fit technically in my mind so maybe the size up will look a little bit nicer on my body or like sit where I want them to sit on my body my only concern is that they were quite baggy in the calf area already so I'm scared that if I go up to a size 10 they'll be even baggier and then I'll look even more like the gross sisters which maybe that's a vibe in itself. Another pair of pants that actually Alex my friend recommended was the TNA squad parachute pants. The only reason why I'm a little bit like hesitant with this pair of pants, although I'm very open to trying them on, is that they only come in white and black. Now Ritzia does that a lot of times when they're trying to test out if the style is a hit or not. They'll just come out with a couple of colors. Right now it's only white and black. I hope they come out with a few more colors because I think the style looks really, really nice. And they are made of Paralite, which is a lightweight parachute inspired fabric. So maybe they'll be like a little bit more comfortable. It sounds like a swishy pant to me and I am down with the easy to use fabrics. Another recommendation is a set that my friend Alex saw when she was shopping at her local Aritzia. She literally texted me and was like, I saw this over the weekend. I think it's so you and you need to try it on. So 
The first item is the Relax shirt in the Sakura pink color. Although this is not specifically the item, but it matches something that I'm about to show you. So this is on my wish list. I already know what the Relax shirt looks like because I already own the Relax shirt in like a pinstripe kind of combination. But they paired it with these shorts and there's a pair of pants as well. So they're called the Volga pant. It's a high rise jogger, again in the Sakura pink. I think the pink outfit would be very cute. The pants only come in pink or black at the moment, so I'm not sure if they're going to come out with more colors. Alex did say that the material looks like it's swishy almost, and she also said that it will be wrinkle free, so I'm very into it. Um, and I also want to try on the shorts that they have in this style, so they're called the grassy high-waisted shorts. Again, in the same material, same cut, instead of pants, it is a pair of shorts. And again, it comes in Sakura pink and black as well. I'm definitely interested in those as well. I'd be mad at a pair of comfortable drawstring shorts or pants, so I'm very into it. And lastly, I have three linen items that I'm open to trying. Again, I just said I'm not going to buy any linen pieces, so personally, I don't think I would buy the linen pieces, but I really love the look of the Wilfred Bouquet linen skirt in the cloudy lilac color. I don't know why, it looks like you're about to go frolic in the fields or something, and it looks so comfortable, so chic, so femme, so I'm really interested in this skirt just because I think like the tiering on the skirt is very beautiful as well, and just the way that the skirt is flowing in the photos at least, it looks really, really nice also interested in trying on the Wilfred Santo linen blouse in tapioca yellow. I don't know what's going on with me. Really into the pastels this season. Maybe I'm just tired of the winter season. You guys already know like I don't like winter fashion. It's so boring to me. I love the spring and summer so much more. The sunshine, it just reminds me of my golden boy. Even though Harley really liked winter, like when he could run, he loved running in the snow. But my favorite thing to do when Harley was around was like just sit in a field with him and that's why I call him my dandelion boy because we'd always sit in like a field of dandelions and just chill and he'd have his ice cream and I'd have my ice cream so maybe that's where the vision is coming from but yeah the tapioca yellow I think this top is quite interesting they haven't made anything like this for a couple of seasons now they've been really conservative with what they've been creating lately and I'm just really tired of the same styles no problem with the styles honestly like but there's like so many variations of the Ghana jacket now and so many variations of like all those like uh Babaton um knit tops and I, although I like those things they're amazing especially if you don't have those in your wardrobe there's just I think an overwhelming amount of variations of those things and I really do want to see more not trendy pieces per se but a little bit like different. Another variation of that blouse is the Wilfred Muse linen blouse. I actually believe this Muse linen blouse is a style from before maybe just not in this linen fabric and I really like the cloudy lilac honestly I just really like the cloudy lilac color and it might look good I do worry because it has like faux cups and your girl never wears a bra and like this top you don't look like you can wear a bra so I feel like if I wore a medium maybe the cups would be too big but again who knows? I think the top itself looks really nice, so definitely open to trying them, but these last three items were just kind of like bonus pieces that I know I would probably try for you guys, but not necessarily buy. Okay, so that is it on my list. That's all that I really saw that really caught my eye. Let me know what else you guys have seen. Maybe there's some stuff that I haven't seen or you guys have seen um, that you want a try on. A lot of times these things are hard to get, so I have to like specifically do like a PSA or something so let me know in the comments down below and then maybe I'll be able to add it to my like wish list and then they'll be able to order things in thank you guys so much for watching I'm sorry that this was like a sit down video I hope you guys don't mind but I'd love to know your opinions and thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next one make sure to follow me on Instagram underscore hello Harley make sure to follow me on TikTok at hello Harley and I will see you guys next time bye